Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and as we continue to look at the different um, tabs or the different options within the Windows Security app, we are looking at the tab that covers firewall and network protection. So what does this tab do actually? Well a firewall, for those that still don't know, is kind of a security system. It blocks what is unwanted from the internet or from your computer because it works on both sides uh, everything going out and everything coming in is either blocked or let through depending on the ports so this is how um, a lot of the online attacks for example have no effect on your computer because the firewall is there to help block but it's not perfect the firewall is a complex thing you can open ports you can do a lot actually when people are infected with malware often what the malware often does is open firewall ports so that they can actually do their activity online. When you click on the uh, security, the Windows security app, of course, you have the firewall and network protection tab that you can click. Preferably, you want it to have a green check mark like I had on mine. And what it does is it will show you domain network, private network, public network. What is that? First of all, Firewall should be on on all three. It tells you which one you are actually on. And so what's the difference between all three of them? The domain network is an internal network or a external network that is belonging to a specific type of network, a work network, for example. You might have a domain network. Uh, these are usually be uh, set up within Windows so that you connect to a specific computer, specific domain or host somewhere. Then there's, and that's mostly for people, uh, most of the time that actually uh, have a work-related computer. You'll often be connecting to a domain to uh, do, you know, all sorts of uh, work stuff with the com computers within the company itself, for example. Then you have private or public network. What's the difference? Private network is usually what you should be set up when you are at home. If you are at home, usually what you'll do is have a private network. What this does is that it actually opens up windows a little more. The private network will let in and out uh, activity that will be blocked on either domain network or public network. And we'll talk about that because we had a few questions about connecting to um, public networks and and so on and all and, and its security. And I think it's time we talk about this again. So at home, on your internet connection, you should be on a private network. Why? Also because if you do certain uh, things, like for example, share files within computers, a private network will allow you to actually set that up. A public network is actually probably not going to let you set it up. Why? Because a public network is closed down to make sure that, you know, uh, intrusions are as difficult as possible. And of course, if you use uh, a computer on a public Wi-Fi or, you know, a public uh, anything that is uh, basically not in your home, you should be on the public network and it should say active on public network. Some of you might actually see that you're at home and you say it says active on public network. It happens sometimes when there's some setups of uh, Ethernet devices or Wi-Fi devices that uh, the setup actually puts you in a public. For most part, most people don't notice and it doesn't matter much, but it is possible that you might not be able to do certain things if you're not on the private network. So here you'll have the information of which one is active on your computer. Then you have the options at the bottom, which are allow app through the firewall, network and internet troubleshooter, firewall notification settings, advanced settings, and restore firewalls to default. We'll be looking at that in very specific videos because each of these videos, I don't want to have too much information for everybody because it's easy to get lost through that. So just remember the firewall and network protection, it preferably needs to be on. It should tell you that all is on. The firewall should be on. You should have that green check mark. Now, one of the things 
that a lot of people don't know is that you often have another firewall that is even better than the one that Windows actually provides. Software firewalls are easy to modify. I was telling earlier, I was saying that, you know, if you have a virus malware, it might open up ports within the Windows firewall because it has access to it and it can do what it wants with it. But thanks to our devices, most routers, most um, of the routers that people use today in the wire, if you're on Wi-Fi, if you have a modem slash router, um, most have a firewall integrated into it. That's even better because it's a hardware firewall. It means that even though a malware might be able to open ports on your PC, it probably won't be able to open ports on your router. So it's kind of a double protection, if you want, that uh, makes sure that is okay. So in some cases, I've seen people, you know, have firewall off and then tell me, well, you know, I never had any problems of attacks or anything and it's off. Well, that's because your router was actually protecting you. But you do need a firewall and it needs to be on uh, either in your router or in Windows, preferably both of them double protection if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thanks for watching